Reef Check is the largest standardised volunteer reef monitoring survey in the world. In its first year, over 750 volunteers in 31 countries used Reef Check to survey over 350 reefs and found reefs to be degraded in all oceans, even in remote areas. Five years later, over 2,000 divers in over 60 countries volunteered for Reef Check. By providing the tools to monitor and manage ecosystems, Reef Check uses a grassroots approach to promote conservation and encourages real change on local, regional and global levels. Reef Check New Zealand also run an Echo Action program which teaches conservation awareness. Reef Check New Zealand's mission is to educate the public about the value of reefs, to create a global network of volunteer teams who monitor and report on reef health, to facilitate collaboration that produces ecologically sound and economically sustainable solutions, and to stimulate local community action to protect reefs. And welcome to French Pass. This is where we do our beach training. This gives you the opportunity to work closely together with Reef Check science providers and trainers. Reef Check training teaches six basic steps. Preparation, transect employment, fish survey, invertebrate survey, substrate survey, wrap up, data collection and analysis. Here we teach divers to lay out transect lines, establish fish identification kits for New Zealand conditions, and walk through a standard reef check monitoring program. During training, the team leader and team scientist will make a presentation that includes 1. An explanation of the goals of reef check 2. A review of the sampling design and rationale of the indicator organisms. 3. Field identification training for all organisms and reef check definitions for substrata. 4. An introduction to the data recording format and preparation of slates. 5. An explanation of the difference between work diving and pleasure diving and how to avoid damaging the reef by proper buoyancy control. 6. An explanation of the post-dive data entry, checking and submission procedures. After a beach introduction to reef check, practice and protocol, we move to apply learned principles to an underwater reef. Once more, communication and preparation are key. transect line along a specific contour. A GPS reading is taken from the start point of the transect. A compass bearing to the end marker of the transect is also recorded. Visual lineups with landmarks are also recorded in case the GPS gives a false reading. fish bell transect should be the first work done after the transect line is deployed. 
Work can be started after a 15 minute period during which no divers disturb the area. Estimated time to completion is one hour. The maximum height above the transect to record fish is restricted to five meters. The data should be recorded on a slate following the belt transect sheet format. Divers assigned to count fish swim slowly along the transect and then stop to count target fish every five meters. They then wait three minutes for target fish to come out of hiding before proceeding to the next stop point. This is a combination timed and area restriction survey, 30 meters long by four meters wide. After the fish survey and invertebrate survey, we do the substrate survey. For the substrate survey, we use a plumb line, which we drop at half meter intervals from the transect tape. First time they hear about wrist check, that was I started thinking about oh you know what this is nothing for me because it's too science. But I got more information about that that everybody can do it. Just just need a, a smart uh, training course and that is it. And it's very easy because only only what you needed is just the information what you get in the slate and a little bit of knowledge about the fishes and it's fun. Yet you can do it any place in the world where you with the right people they give it a good training and that's it. We are the eyes what was happening under the sea. I got involved with reef check because I love the ocean, I love diving and reef check's a great activity to be in the water, enjoy the marine life. Um, it's also a way for all divers to be involved in protecting our marine life and raising awareness of the oceans and our rocky reefs around New Zealand. Over the last 20 years, you know, you come to understand that the ocean is being depleted and things are changing. And particularly in New Zealand and with the building, build up of aquaculture and different things, we are changing the marine environment. So Reef Check for me is a way of being involved where I can make a positive contribution to the knowledge of the sea. And I think that that's critically important for future generations. We know what old people have seen, we know what fishermen have caught in the past, but we don't really have a baseline that we can understand. 